What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Hardcore Survival Series. This is my third attempt at not dying, so we're doing pretty good so far. Now that we have a super spiffy pumpkin farm, we're doing rather well, I think. So let's head back down here. Basement 4, I think it is. We have lots of basements. This is the uh, submarine level. We'll have to build a submarine. That would be fun. So we've started building the the backside, and then this goes into a mine shaft. So this is kind of what we're up against right now. But we've got all the resources I think we need to kind of start making this look how the other one looked. So if we cover these up, that's a first start. I'm gonna need some more slabby slabs. Okay, uh, one short. One slab short. All I needed was one slab. Okay, one. Just one. There we go. <laughs> Alright, now I'm pretty sure the other room is three blocks high, whereas this one's only two blocks high. So we're gonna have to dig out, I think, a little bit. Just to make it just as tall. That's the only kind of issue I see here. Is it's just not tall enough. So if we just hurry up and dig these out. I can walk on top of here. And then let's take these out. Lots of stone to use. looks good right there got all of those let's go take a little closer look at how the other room is laid out let's just go be nosy really quickly so if we go up here we can go in this door so let's take a look around so from this angle this looks good so this is surrounded by blocks, has its two target blocks, its cover, and it's all flat. And there's two stairs coming up, and then it's three blocks tall, and I have a one block wide walkway around the whole thing. So that's the, the game plan for downstairs. That's what we're going to try to build. I'm just going to copy the design because the design works. So if it works, don't mess with that. We'll take that out, and that one. That one's gotta go there, that one's gotta go there. That's gotta be a different one. Those are the sneaky ones, the ones behind the stairs. Those are the ones that get forgotten. So if you don't do them right away, you'll forget. So then we have to do this whole wall. Whole wall's gotta come out. Hopefully there's no baddies back here. So far so good. So we can put these in. And then I think there was some torches kind of on the wall like right here. Oh, that one's not dug out yet. So we'll start on this side. <laughs> Now we need to do this wall. The wall might be tricky. Oh yeah, see that's a that's a cave right there. There we go. We'll just dig that out. Hopefully nothing 
bad comes of that. So far, so good. Just a lot of, a lot of holes. Right underneath us. The level of sketchiness is super high. Kind of nerve wracking. Hey, we got really lucky there. Like, really lucky. That's super cool. So, let's take these out. These shouldn't be an issue. Famous last words. Make sure we collect all those. Alright, so there's that. Start working on this floor here. We're gonna have to take out this one for sure. We might as well just try to put some down there. There we go. Then on top of here should be that. Can't even tell there's a mine shaft right there. Oh, you can right there. So we'll just block some of that up. Just so it's not getting in the way. Oops. Okay, so that's pretty blocked off there. Alright. Hey, look at that. That worked out almost too easy. So now we gotta do this side, which is gonna be... Uh, needless to say, quite the challenge. So we're gonna have to take out all these and then a walkway. So we're gonna have to come over here, dig in, and then dig back, and then dig up. This is going to be sketchy. Beyond all sketchy. Oh yeah, especially since there's a wall. A hole. There's literally nothing for me to dig into. I'm going to have to add all these blocks. I wish I could touch that one. That's as far as I can go. So we're just gonna keep keep going slow, I guess. So <laughs> we've gotta build one, two, three, four, like eight blocks deep, and there's like nothing there. Like really, really nothing. As you can see, there's just a big cave. Oh shoot, I'm getting attacked. So, kind of dangerous. <clears throat> As I take an arrow. I'm not wearing a shield because, you know, no risk, no reward. That one definitely got booted off the side into oblivion. So we need to go two blocks and then up. That means I need to come in three. This is going to be dangerous. Looks like there's an arrow right there. Oh, there's a creeper and everything. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> that is not good. Something could set that creeper off and then ba boom Big boom. Big, big boom. So maybe let's work from this way. <laughs> so I need to go a little bit farther. Is this wall solid? Probably not. Ooh, it is. Oh, wow. Okay, so that actually went way better than anticipated right there. 
That did not. I need light in here. We'll just move it to that block. I'm so scared to see what actually gets uncovered and what doesn't. Because there's a lot of stuff that has to come out right here. Okay, so these are all good. That has to get changed. These for sure have to get changed. Ooh. Ooh, that's sketchy. Yeah, like we we're hanging over top. <laughs> hanging over top of something right here. Now, these ones gotta swap out. I'm here in Enderman. I saw a creeper. I could see zombies. What up, purple? Welcome in. I'm just trying to finish this uh, pumpkin farm right here. This is the challenging part. I haven't even started the ceiling. So, I'm just swapping these blocks out. And trying not to die in the process. How's your day going? Hopefully you're having a good day. Grab some more of these. Boom, boom, boom. So this was the block that was super, super sketchy. If I can get this one out and then put some stone around it, we should be good. Maybe... Oh yeah, see there's a bunch of zombies and everything right there. Hey, it worked. It worked. Oh, I'm doing great. Okay, we're gonna have to try to get a block right here. Oh, after we got shot by an arrow. Not good. There we go. There are so many zombies because this is actually a cave. So if you look out this little hole, it's actually a mine shaft. And you can see all the zombies just kind of right underneath. There's a lot. So I'm trying not to fall or anything. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to do this as slow and as safely as possible. And they're right here. They're right underneath me. So when I take out this block, I might actually see them. Yeah, I see a couple right there. <laughs> dangerous. Super dangerous. Oh shoot, there's a creeper. <laughs> we don't want to mess with the creeper. <laughs> we don't want the creeper blowing everything up because then we'd have to like run upstairs and that's scary. We don't want to do that. So we'll just do this one. <laughs> oh wow. Big old hole. Big old hole right there. And there's just a bunch of mobs down there. <laughs> And I'm I'm only wearing iron armor. I'm not trying to die. So this one comes out. I know that this one has to come out, right? That looks like a hole to the outside. Let's seal that up. Okay, that's good. This one's gonna be the hard one because there's like nothing for me to put a block on. There we go. Got it! I got it! Nice. So that makes that easier. Okay, there's nothing there. That's good. Okay, cool. So we at least got the pathway started. And so far, no holes to the outside, which is really good. Oh, we got super lucky like that. I was expecting this to be open. All right. Ooh. That's scary. Just open to the out outdoors. All right, so we got to swap these ones out. 
Look at how sketchy that looks. I almost got shot by another skeleton. <laughs> Look at that zombie has a sword. <laughs> that zombie is not messing around. So this one's got to come out. Which means that one has to come out. That goes in there. That goes in there. I need to grab one more stair. <coughs> Actually, two. Excuse me. Ooh, that just worked. That's awesome. So one stair I know goes right there, which means this one has to come out. Means that one goes in. So this has got to come out. Oh, that's so scary. Make that wall a little bit thicker. <laughs> Just for good measure. Just so there's a little bit of a buffer. Doesn't have to be huge, but a little would be nice. Okay, so let's try to put these stairs in. This is going to be super hard. Just because there is all the mobs right here. Hey, I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. Pressure plate. Boom. Door. Boom. Oh, that's looking good. Oh, that's looking really good. Okay, so, this doorway. Now we have to do this stair. Which we should be able to. There we go. And then do that same little move here. Actually, let's put some stone there. So there's a little bit of a buffer. Try to keep myself as safe as possible. Alright, I'm gonna need some more stone bricks, and we're almost done. Actually, I'm gonna need more than that. Alright, so we got a half a stack. We gotta do the ceiling still. The ceiling's gonna be last. We're just going to fortify this place is what we're going to do. Make it strong. In case anything just blows up accidentally and hopefully it doesn't blow up my farm. Because there's a lot of nothing down there. That creeper was way too close for comfort. <laughs> Wow, that little creeper was right there. Wow. Talk about scary. Okay, luckily those are all good. We can take those out. We could probably do these ones over here. Oh. Do these top ones. Uh, top ones are good. Now we can do eye level. Nice. Okay, this is making it easy. So then let's do these ones. Yep, yeah, didn't think that was gonna go well. Oh, there's a creeper. How convenient. <laughs> let's just go back over here, pretend nothing happened. Alright, now we just gotta do the ceiling. Mmm, do I want more torches in here? Yes. Yes is the answer. 
All right, let's rip out the ceiling and finish this build. Mark a dun stamp on it. Call it good. We gotta go harvest our crops anyways. Probably all grown by now. Go get some emeralds. Go check on our villagers. Go see how the iron farm is doing. Nice. So that's all filled up there. Make sure none of them are getting lost. All right. We're gonna need a lot more than that. So let's grab this stack. <laughs> Where was that going? I was trying to go into the wall. Two, three, four, five, five, ten, fifteen, sixteen, seven, eighteen 15, 18 more. 18 is all we need. Bingo. All done. Very nice. I like the way this came out. And it's already producing some pumpkins. Ooh, and we had some stone blocks in there to spare. How convenient. Solid. So, this is all fixed. There goes the cave right there. So. Let's take this back upstairs where it belongs. I mean, I guess I could leave the crafting table down here. This is the melon, or that's the pumpkin level. Let's put it on the melon level. Because I definitely am gonna need a crafting table to mess with the melons. Let's just leave it right there. And go check on the rest of our farms and everything. This one's doing really well. I love the tree farm. Uh, where are we going to put the stone cutter? I guess right here, maybe? Not like we have a room for it or anything, but... Kind of put it out of the way right there, I suppose. I don't know why I have a torch so low. Kind of weird. That makes more sense. That makes more sense, I guess. Iron Golem just chilling, protecting everything as it rains. So what's been going on out here, man? Anything good? Anything going on? Just chilling? I'm just having a bubble bath? Okay, cool. Good talk. Let's head over here. This dude, same thing, just chilling. You gotta be pruny by now, my guy. Like, you've been over there just trying to get rusty for days. And, like, all you have to do is just, like, step up. But you don't have a block, do you? And you're too scared to walk anywhere else. It's a shame. You're just gonna be stuck in there. Ooh, not much iron. But a decent amount. Okay, let's go trade for some emeralds. Oh no, let me talk to your friend. Let me talk to your friend. Here, I got iron. Yeah. Mm 
Nice. And then I get the discount. So I got 12 emeralds. That's not bad. Basically free emeralds. Ooh. I can get a diamond sword? I didn't realize that. I must have unlocked that with all the iron trades. <laughs> Alright, you stay in there. Alright, so let's unload some of our inventory and then go harvest some crops. Yeah, we got over a stack of emeralds finally. I think we should probably focus on getting our diamond gear. Diamond gear would be good. Like diamond gear would be really good. <laughs> There's so much stuff in there. Wow. This is wow. Like that's a lot. A lot, a lot. Like wow. Wow, wow. Yeah, let's concentrate on getting our diamond <coughs> diamond gear. That way we can get all geared up. So, let's put these irons away and everything else away. So we have poppies, iron, glass, a bunch of chiseled stone, and dirt. That should be easy enough. I have chests for almost all that. So dirt, boom, and boom. Uh, da, 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 stone. I don't really have enough room because of this cracked stone brick. You know what? Let's give this place some character. Cracked stone. Looks cool. We'll put that there. And then we have one more stone to go there. Iron we have a ton of. And then glass we have over here. A lot of poppies, and then I got some chests left over, and then some doors. So I guess we'll just leave all that in there. And then we've got our shield, buckets. Looks good. So, melon, pumpkin, lava, cactus, bamboo, sugar cane, farmy farm, sheep farm, and iron farm all done. We still have to do like a stone generator. I want to build an actual lava generator and then a dripstone farm. So, that's kind of on the, the goals list. Ooh, it's nighttime. Let's go hit the farm, get all our crops. Wow, that tree actually grew. Blocked the window, but it grew. Look at all these trees. They all grew up. Holy crap. Trees everywhere. Treeception. Alright, let's flick it. Get all them veggies. So satisfying. I love flipping these switches. I just see money. Money, money, money. Just see emeralds going right into the bank. Alright, let's crop it up.
plant this. Go see how many emeralds we can get. Is a quick 200 clicks really quick? 224 to be technical. Be accurate. That's a lot of potatoes and carrots. So we've got almost all of those planted. One more row. <gasps> Who could do such a thing? Destroy my crops. Must have been an Enderman. That's a good question. After replanting, we'll have to count and see. Because I feel like once it's planted, then it's like an accurate number. I would think around a thousand, maybe? Once it's fully harvested. I don't know. It's a good question. So, that's after planting everything. I still have... Four, almost five stacks of carrots. And then... Same, almost five stacks of potatoes. So it's five times 64. That's what? 128. 256 plus another 56 or 57 so that's 360 after replanting 220 which 125 are so if you take 125 away technically then we are left with this which is pretty cool 300 so about 420 is what I'm harvesting each side so then double it because there's two sides. Oh, I hear Moby barking at the neighbors. Moby. What's up, dude? I got some treats for you. Trying to get his prices down, that's why I'm going slow. But it doesn't look like he's going for it. I love how the XP is just flying up to me though, that's kind of cool. So I went through all the potatoes. I didn't max them out, but I did get 12. Stonks, right? So we'll just get all the carrots we can here. And then, is there anything left? Yep. Ooh, there's some XP down there. Oh, so now he lowers his prices. I see how it is. I see how it is. Get me for all I'm worth. And then lowball me. I see how it is. Alright, they're having a little powwow down there. Sweet. Or actually, we don't have anything else to sell. Let's go up here. Harvest again. So we're gonna harvest this side. Oh yeah. Boom, this is my favorite part watching it. So satisfying. I can never get enough of that. I believe it was 1.19.2. And I think 1.19.3 just came out. I'm not sure. But I keep my game updated, so whatever the latest release is, is what I'm on. <gasps> I managed to get all those in my inventory. That doesn't happen. My inventory must be extra empty right now. I 
All right, and up we go to the second floor. I had to think what I was planting there for a second. I was like, I got messed up. But have no fear. We figured it out. So this is a lot of potatoes and a lot of carrots. I wonder how long this would take me in real life to do. To plant 200, or actually, yeah, to plant 225 carrots and 225 potatoes. I feel like that would take me a while. And here I'm just blasting through it in a day, no big deal. Like, yeah, farmer. Oh no, there's another grass block. Somebody does not like my garden. They've just been trampling in my garden. Destroying my crops. I love when it's replanted and it's all fresh like this. I think it looks so cool. And then you start seeing the little ones like that, like the potatoes that grow pretty quick. That are just random, like that one and that one. But I still have some inventory space. We have some poisonous potatoes to eat. We'll just munch on those really quick. Because most of the time they don't give you poison. And that was really sketchy. I should not have done that. Because I was going towards the iron golem and I could have hit the iron golem. <laughs> and that would have probably been the end of the series because I don't think I can outrun them. Maybe you can. But they're pretty quick, I think. So I don't want to die... I died to an iron, iron golem already. That's not good content. He's over here just watching my garden. Like, yo, I got you, bro. Security. Wow, somebody was really trampling my gardens. Wow. Kind of messed up. What did I do to their garden? Nothing. Wow, I got room for all these potatoes too? That's surprising. Must not have been a good harvest or something. Usually I don't have this much room. Excuse me. Pardon me. I love watching the sunset. So cool. Alright, we gotta have a full in- No, not even close. I was like, we gotta have a full inventory, but nope. Nice and open. I can't believe we harvested this garden and the main garden together. That's kind of surprising to me. Usually it doesn't work out like that. I should probably go to sleep. <laughs> it is pretty dark. We got some little side carrots over here. Let's grab those. We do have some crops over here next to our zombie villager. I don't hear him. Is he dead? What happened? Oh no, he's in there. He's just chilling. Doing his thing. He's being awful, awfully quiet.
All right, are we maxed out? Oh wow, we're maxed out. I can't even get the last of those. So, we'll do this. And stack our buckets. And boom, one extra inventory slot. It's magic. Down to the villager. Boom, boom, boom. Go get some emeralds. Go on a shopping spree. Is that it? Yeah, you know I'm coming. Coming with that fat harvest. Yeah, I don't care if you're done with the carrots. I got potatoes. Alright, so we got almost a full stack of emeralds. Let's go grab some iron really quick. And then we can trade some iron for emeralds. And we'll be off to the races here. I don't know how many dirt blocks. No, I want to talk to your friend. Go away. Go away. Go away. Get out of the doorway. Go on, get. Go on, get. See, I have iron. You're not interested. You don't have an emerald out. Come on. Let me talk to your friend. Let me talk to your friend. Go away. <laughs> Shut the door in his face. All right. There's your friend. Can I, can I click on him? Doesn't look like it. I'm trying. Can you please get your homie? I'm trying to give him some business here. There we go. Nice, we got a little over a stack. That's pretty dang good. So let's go grab all of the emeralds and go on a little shopping spree, shall we? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we got a little over two stacks. We got our diamond helmet. Let's take off the iron gear for the last time. Put that away. They've served me well. So let's go buy some good stuff, huh? So we got a helmet. Sweet. We're gonna go gear up. Alright, now I gotta talk to the one guy that I don't usually talk to. Grab me some some boots and some pants. And I'm pretty sure that I already leveled up a villager way over here for a chest plate. I'm pretty sure. Not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure. Let me in. Thank you. Yeah, this dude. I can get a chest plate. Geared up. Look at us. Oh my god, that's awesome. Moby, we're in full diamond. Full diamond. All right, give me one minute. Moby needs some lovin'. I'm gonna go grab him some snackies and fill up my drink, and I'll be back in like eh, like two minutes, three minutes maybe. So give me a sec, and I'll brb.
All right, sorry about that. I had to go outside to the garage to go get a drink. And then I figured while I was up, I might as well go to the bathroom really quick, kill two birds, one stone kind of thing. So that's what I did. And now we have armor. Does this guy have better armor than I do? So fire protection would be kind of cool. Projectile protection. Because I can combine these. Fire and projectile. Projectile and protection. So what do I got? Protection. 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 Unbreaking. So I couldn't do the fire pants because those ones have fire on them already. Or they already have protection. And then what was the other one? Oh, protection two on that. Projectile protection on the boots, which I have unbreaking, which I could buy projectile protection, but I think. Where do I put it on the head? Do I put it on my head or my feet? Well, my head already has protection one. That one has projectile protection one, like it makes a difference. Do another set. So that means we have to go to the nether. Get like a full set of netherite armor. Is that what you mean? That'd be pretty rad. That's a lot of bricks. A lot of bricks. <laughs> we have so many shields in here. So many iron boots, too. Wow. <laughs> Alright, let me out of here. Let me out of this place. Throw that back in there. And then let's go see about... Emptying this out, so we keep that going. I see some free squid ink, which is pretty chill. Um, we should probably fill our buckets up. There's that one. I'm gonna grab some lava just for SMGs. Now, let's organize this a little bit. I have to go upstairs for the squid ink. Pretty sure. Pretty sure all that's right here. Yep. Now, let's put these back. Go over here. So we've got our bucket of lava for whatever we need to do over here, which is cool. We've got plenty of stakes. Let's put our poppies in here. Get even more bone meal. Wow. And then... So the stakes are good. We have full stakes. Cactus is doing well. There is one thing that I do want to do. What time of day is it? Oh, it's almost night time. Um, it's not a big deal. Not a huge deal. I need to fix all of this because this looks terrible over here. I need to get rid of this iron that's in my inventory. So there's all that. We have so much iron, that's awesome. We can build like a railroad. Uh, we should build a railroad. Almost night time. I have to go to sleep. Ooh. This tree is totally blocking my path now. Not for long. You were cool while you lasted. Same with you. I don't want you blocking my nice view of the sunset. Despawn. I don't know why that tree is so short. <laughs> it's so funny. Literally, like, as wide as it is short. 
Alright, did they go to sleep yet? Looks like it. Alright, let's head this way. Ooh. So, my goal is to grab some ice and snow blocks. I want to make a snow golem. We're going to need some snow to do that. And I see some way over there. Question is, can I get over there easy or do I have to go swimming? Kind of looks like I have to go swimming. And that looks like an old growth forest. Yep. All right, we're getting wet. <clears throat> Into the ocean we go. Well, it's not even an ocean, it's just water. It's like cold water. Because it looks like it's kind of cold around here. How are we going to get up there is the question. These cliffs are kind of tall. I should have spotted a area before I swam over here. This is embarrassing. Let's swim over this way. Oh, I hear a drown too. Perfect. Oh. <laughs> I really don't want to have to start digging into this hillside. But I'm going to have to. I mean, it is what it is. Hopefully I don't fall. There we go. Oh, I didn't bring a bed with me. I better hurry. I don't have long. So I'm heading towards this mountain right here. Oh, we got so lucky right there. All right, we do have a bed now. Thanks, sheep. That makes me feel so much better. Now we can hop over here carelessly. As I am. Kind of far from the house. Alright, this is going to get challenging. We're going to have to go. Ooh, look at all that. Look at all that. Look at it. Look at it. Nice. That was so awesome. So let's just uh take out what we can. Cause we want a lot of this stuff. Oh no, I'm stuck way under here. I love how we're taking out the inside, not the outside. Looks like we found the outside. Funny how it sounds like glass.
as we just rip through all of this. <laughs> nice. So we're getting some snow blocks and some ice blocks, which is cool. I dig it. So we've taken out quite a bit. Oh, which one was that? Oh, just regular ice. Okay, so we have some boring ice. That makes sense. <gasps> oh, what? I'm glad I didn't get attacked. Because they can totally ram you and kill you, I think. Alright, so... We've got a ton of stuff now. I'll just take all this out. Oh no, the snowballs are eating up my inventory. We'll just make snow blocks then. Because those are easier to transport. Nice. So what's our total haul so far? That's a good question. Oh no, it fell way down there. So let's see, put the snowballs in here, oh wait that's the wrong one, I need a few more snow blocks for the snowballs. So we can have an even number. Sixteen, sixteen, four, eight, twelve, sixteen. Perfect. All right, so we got a stack of snow blocks. That's successful. We also want to get a little bit more packed ice. Regular ice doesn't really matter. It's this packed ice that I'm after. Let's get this up to two stacks. There's sixty four. And some more snowballs for good measure. And the sun's going down. I feel like we should explore what's on the other side of here. We haven't been this far, really. Oh, I have to be careful about the crazy snow. That way I don't fall in it. I don't have leather, leather shoes on. What's over here? Right, I know if I walk on trees, I'm okay. I don't know that I've been over here. That looks like ocean, kind of. I guess let's just walk over there and find out. Should we try to get a sheep horn? <laughs> 
Whoa, maybe not. <laughs> Homie just like annihilated that block. Oh wow, well, our house is way over there. What's way over here? It's cool when you can see everything. Definitely pretty cool. Nice view. Do we see anything over here that's worth scavenging for? Doesn't look like it. It looks like all four is. This is just a little sketchy, trying to get off this mountain. Hey! We did it. Ooh, that's a big hole. We don't want to go in that hole. Nice. Now if I run this way... I can go get one of these, which I don't have. A lilac. Oh, excuse me. I love how red sheep's just chilling by the pumpkins. Is that black sheep? Oh, that's that's a horse. Uh, we don't have any carrots with us. I was gonna say we can try to bring the pig back. Oh wow, exposed cave. What's in there? Probably some baddies. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That just has death screaming. Screams death. Hopefully we don't get tridented. We're swimming straight across. We're going right to the farm. Hey, we made it. All right, so we've got some more supplies. We're gonna need to grab some wheat and fix our pickaxe. Heck yeah, so we got the snow and the ice and the packed ice. So I can make blue ice too, right? Yeah, it's just nine. Alright, so we've got one blue ice, a bunch of other ice, packed ice, and then does regular ice turn into packed ice, I'm assuming? Yeah, interesting. Okay, we want an iron golem, not an iron golem, what am I talking about? I want a snow golem. I actually want a couple of them. Go down here. Now, where, where on earth would I be able to put a snow golem? That's a good question. We got a couple trap doors. We're gonna need those. And then. Let's see. Can I use chests? 
I guess let's make a couple hoppers to find out. I have one hopper. So I need one more. So I need five more iron. Make a hopper. Oh wait, that's the hopper. <laughs> I grabbed the, a hopper instead of the iron. That's funny. So I've got one chest. Probably gonna need another chest. Just cause. These things tend to make a bunch of snow. So, snow golem. Where do I want the snow golem? That's a good question. Do I want them up here? I don't know, probably not. Let's see, where else could we put a snow golem at? Could we put him down here? I don't know, this is kind of jungly. It's got sugar cane, cocoa, and then this is watermelon, so I don't think that's a good idea. Maybe I try to stuff him in up here somewhere? I mean, where... Dang, this is a tough one. Should I maybe put it right here instead? And just... I could work. I don't like the way that looks with the chest like that. Kind of hanging out by itself. Looks weird. Let's take all these out. Ooh. Moving these are gonna be a pain. Um so let's just use this chest for now. Stone can be snow as well. Blue ice, no balls. Mm -hmm. So we got the pumpkins. We're gonna need a couple of snow blocks though, so we'll keep those. Now we gotta move all of this. It's gonna be a pain in the butt. We have a we don't have a catch all chest, do we? That's what you can be right now. And I'll just put a bunch of stuff right there. Now we're gonna have to get rid of the actual chest right here. So that's easy enough. Dirt and wood are going to be a little bit of a challenge. Wood, I guess, not so much. Interesting. So that's snow. Let's make this wood. <gasps> What's Moby doing? Huh? What's the big Moby doing? Besides growling at daddy. Hmm. What's the big Mob doing? Hmm.
Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Let's give him Moby some loving. And he was looking at the neighbors. The neighbors outside are moving. Well, like, I guess the daughter is like moving. So she's moving out with the kids and everything. So they're all looking like they're saying their last goodbyes outside. Before they head off to wherever they're going. Okay, so <clears throat> I need to move all this dirt. Where am I gonna move this dirt to? I got a bunch of oak leaves. I need to make a glass chest. This is wood. That was snow ice. Cold stuff. Cold stuff. Very cold. All right, so we don't have enough in our inventory for this one right here. Yikes. Let's put it right here. So much dirt. It's a good thing though, because you can't really regenerate it, so might as well save all the dirt you can. Okay. Dirt. So those have been successfully moved. Now, I want to put a snow golem in, like, right here. So he's just chilling. There are actually probably two of them. So they're not lonely. And that way we can generate snowballs to throw at people. I think that would be funny. Uh, should we use chests or should we use these barrels? These barrels are kind of different. So, I'm going to need to dig out a little bit deeper. Now, if I build two chests, I can put two chests there, right? And then two hoppers going into the back of there. Let's try that. But we're going to need to fix this. With these. Oh, that was perfect. Now, if I do one of these bad boys... Might as well do a double chest, because that'll look better. Going in there. Yep. That one's going in there. Cool. Let's confirm. Sure looks like it. Alright, that's ending up in there. Take these out. Confirm this side. Cool, that's working there. So that's good on that end. Oh, we forgot to put the glass away. Oh, and we should probably name this one. Leather? I don't know if we really need a whole chest just for leather, but okay. Let's just make them a glass chest. Way more uses for glass. Um, yeah, we'll just throw it in here. Because I'm pretty sure I have leather upstairs. It's all mixed in. Now I have to put two... Iron or snow golems right here. And I think they're three tall? Is that right? 
pretty sure. So, I'm going to need some more of these blocks right here. Oops, that's the wrong thing. <laughs> I need the stone cutter. So we got some of these. So, that means we have to take these out. Take these out. These for sure have to come out. And then I know these have to come out. That was literally the perfect amount. That's crazy. Mm, now, get rid of these signs. We will need the trap doors. And then we'll need the snow and the pumpkin. So, if I do this right, there should be a trap door like that. Holding the iron golems, or not, I keep calling them iron golems, they're snow golems. <laughs> So, I have to put no blocks in here. Like that. And then I can put pumpkins. Something like that, right? So I'm pretty sure they'll stay right there. Not a hundred percent on that though. I feel like I should use something other than wood. Like, should I use iron? We haven't done iron at all. Let's see what our options are. Let's try this out. Let's see how these look. I don't know if these will work the same. So keep them in there, kind of thing. That way they can't get out. Kind of makes them look like prisoners, though. Right, am I ready to fire this thing up? I think all I have to do is just... Oh wow. You're really short. Did I do this wrong? I feel like you should be able to... I don't think you can put them on hoppers. Hmm. Okay, maybe you can't put them on a hopper. Wow, that killed him with my shovel? Interesting. R.I.P. Snowman. Uh, that kind of changes things. So maybe we don't put the hoppers in there. And we just have like blocks or something. I don't know. That just threw me for a loop. So we'll try it like that instead. We got some snowballs left. Now if I... <coughs> if I snip... That looks like it worked. Except, that's way too tall for them. It's like way, way too tall.
So I guess they only need to be three tall to make them, but then they're only two tall. I don't know. I don't make the rules. So let's do that. And that one, same thing. La di da. And then I guess we just put the chest right there, and we'll just have to fill it up manually. Does that make sense? So we've got snow blocks. Take the snowballs. The balls out of here. We still have two hoppers to use. <laughs> Darn. I was really hoping to use those. So we've got iron bars there. We got a lot left over. Those sure make a lot. We can put the uh, trap doors back because we're not using the trap doors. We went for the iron look. So then theoretically I should be able to generate snowballs just by clicking like right here. Oh no, they're moving. I don't want them to get hurt. They have way too much room to move around. That's a problem. I'm trying to fix this now. Because this one's trying to bully the other one for sure. So... I need to take these out, I think, and put trap doors there. That way they can't move as much. Let's try that. Now they can kind of move side to side. I just don't want them getting hit by the shovel, which it looks like they're going to. I wonder if I can put one in the middle. I don't have another one, of course. So, we make one. Or two. Or a few. Now the hard part is going to be getting it in there. Especially if they're going back and forth like that. That generates a lot of snow. A lot. Now the question is, how do I do this without... I'm gonna have to just take out this iron golem, aren't I? And just do this over again. Aren't I? Decent amount of snow already. But luckily we've got some more snow blocks. Actually, let's make them back whole again. So then we just stick those in there. We're gonna need some pumpkins though. Darn. I know we have some upstairs.
So to do this properly, I'm going to have to put a trap door right next to this golem. I think. I don't know. I'm going to try. See what happens. So it's going to have to go like right there. Probably close those. <laughs> I wouldn't be good if they got out. I don't know how I'm going to do this. If I put a trap door there now, I can't put a second golem right there. How did I do this before? I'm so confused. I probably just did this one and then put a trap door on that block. And then did a golem here. Let's try that. No? I can't. For some reason I can't put that in there. Probably because the golem's standing right there. I don't know. It's not for a lack of trying. Um, I wonder if I could just, nope, I can't do it on any side, that's weird. So I guess we'll just leave you two to fight. We're just going to bully each other now. I just don't want to take them out when I'm going ham on the snow. You know what I mean? Because the snow is so easy to take out. So, here we go. I love how it just makes infinite snowballs. Now we have snowballs to throw at people. Let's not hit an iron golem though. Okay, it's dark, but it's not too dark. Oh, there's a zombie over there with a shovel. He was doing some gardening for me. Where is that bed? Conveniently enough, right here. Okay, so now we have snow golems to add to the list. No farm. Completed. Boom. Snow farm. Done. Okay, dirt. I have one random dirt block. Pumpkin seeds. We don't have a chest or anything down here for food. We should probably put like a food food chest. And, like put food down here. Let's make a couple of chests. And then throw those right here. Oh, we need three more. Okay, three more, perfect. That fills all those up. So, let's just pick one. What do we want to be in the center? Pumpkins or melons? Let's put melons in the center. We gotta make some more signs. We don't have any more signs. Oh, 
Okay, so let's organize this. So you walk straight in and you see stone, snow, and melons. Pumpkins. Let's do carrots over here. Even though we're really not going to have a bunch of these, it'd still be nice to flex and have a chest full. And then these can be potatoes. Potatoes. Um, this should be... Wheat. And then we have one last chest, which can be food. <laughs> so those will be for like all the crops and everything, which is cool. Iron, let's put those in there. So that kind of makes sense that they go together. Wood, we're going to keep on us, but we can put these chests in there. Or those barrels, I should say. Super neat that we have snow golems now. So we can just run up. As long as we don't hit the snow golem, we should be okay. But, quick way to get snow. Very quick way. <laughs> Love it. Now. Ooh. We've got ice, but we're nowhere near an ice biome, so we can't really build an ice farm. But I'm pretty sure we do have enough, enough stuff to build like a portal that we could build a portal over to that mountain and make a pathway. I'm pretty sure I already have a pathway leading from this town to the next town. That way I can get back and forth really quick. So that's a good thing. Okay, inventory wise, I'm kind of stacked. I have nothing in my inventory. I'm ready to go. What is my next venture? Question mark. I feel like we should go buy a diamond sword. Stop being cheap. <laughs> That way we at least look the part. So that would be this chest, is all my tools and stuff. So, let's go buy a diamond sword from homie. Be part of the cool kids club. I already have armor, I need a sword bruh. Can you get out of the way? I really need to split these two up. That way I can get to the other one easier. Come on, come closer. There we go. 16, not bad. We now have a diamond sword. I feel cool. So I'm looking over here and this this looks fantastic. This looks beautiful. We have this awesome fountain, some iron golem stuck in there. I wonder if I could just stand there and take them out. Probably not tall enough. I don't want to get hit. <laughs> but this whole whole cliff right outside of my house just 
does not look good at all. I feel like we should spend some time and clean up the way it looks behind the house. Do some landscaping, so to speak. Do I have another item frame so I can put my sword on display? I don't think I do. Doesn't look like it. So let's make an item frame. Then put our sword on display. Oh wait, I have plenty of sticks. What am I doing? Okay, where is this gonna go? Upstairs. Upstairs it goes. And do we put it next to the bed? You know, just so it's like quick and ready to go. I can grab my sword and my axe like, hiya! What's up? <laughs> Alright, in all seriousness, let's let's go make this outside look better. That is the number one goal right now. We're gonna need a ton of dirt. I'm willing to sacrifice, I suppose, that much dirt. I don't know how much we'll need though, that's the question. And then, what time of day is it? Is it noon? Oh, it's past noon. It's almost, almost too late. So right off the bat, this house is sitting on a bunch of gravel, which is ugly. Very ugly. And then I should probably come up with a better solution for trading with these guys. As opposed to my rock solid method of the dirt block barrier. <laughs> so, let's start... I like this tree. That tree's staying. This all kind of needs to go, because it's kind of ugly. I know it's a stony shore, is what my... biome is, but not right now. So if we take all this out, make it look nice. right into that. That's gross. That is gross gross. So if I take all this out, I can put some dirt in. At least make it look better. Put a pathway right there maybe. There's just a bunch of gravel right here. So we'll take it all out. Put some dirt in. Cause that'll at least look better than gravel. Look more realistic. <laughs> so then over here. I love that I'm still rocking an iron hoe. The rock, the rock solid. The tried, the true, the workhorse. Alright, sun's going down, that means it's bedtime. Let's grab the blue bed tonight. Sleep with our head next to the saw, because that's safe.
How do I want this to look? Good question. Do I want all grass? Do I want a nice little pathway? The only problem is that pathway is kind of skinny. Did I make it a secret pathway? Put bushes here. That way you can't really get over there. I feel like that iron golem is going to come fall on me. Let's terrace this up. So. This is all grass. That's a good start. This waterfall, while cool, might present a problem in the future. We got some stone over there. We'll leave that. We'll leave the stone. This dude's got private beach. Okay, so all that is good. So we don't have to worry about any of that. Everything over there looks cool. This one... I don't know, do I want to add more planks and make it wider? Make it like a normal... I think that would look good. I don't know if it would look great. We can try it. We'll need how many planks? One, two, three, four... We'll need eight. Eight planks, coming right up. So we've got 12 to work with. Let's try this out, see how this looks. Oh no, what did I do? I double clicked. I hate wasting wood. I did it again. Then this one's probably going to get covered by the water a little bit. Okay, so I don't like that. That that ruins the aesthetic here. We're going to have to go close that up. Let's go put a stop to this really quickly. Okay, so now we can kind of work on this hillside, make it look a little more presentable. Get rid of this random gravel and grass barrier that I had to put in place. I didn't flood my lava. Cool. So I definitely know I don't want gravel. So if we could, maybe put in some grass. And hopefully that'll grow pretty quickly. Take out the rest of this gravel, because it's just kind of in the way, so to speak. I want to make this look more awesome under here, instead of just like a gravel nightmare. I know it's a stony shore, but... We don't need all this gravel to be stony. There we go. So hopefully this expands back to there. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's kind of funny that this house is built up a block. It's just like on this dirt pillar. So we should probably try to take that out or make it look a little more presentable. Maybe I'll we'll put some dirt around it, so it doesn't look as weird. And then we can take that out. So then that has a little platform that it's on now. Just trying to make it look better. I'm scared that iron golem's just gonna fall on me. So... Let's start up here. I know that I want our garden to kind of be right here. Uh, let's not use the gravel, but let's use the stone. Because I can regenerate stone, can't regenerate gravel. Or, yeah, that's what I meant. 
So I want to build this out so I have a little bit more of a side yard. Let's at least come out something like that. And then maybe even that way. And then come under here. Wait, nope, that doesn't look right. I feel like these ones should be the other stone. So I'll have to come fill those in. Because I feel like it should match this. Either that or I put dirt in there. One of the two. So that gives us a little bit of a side yard. That's pretty cool. Put a little fence in. That way I could overlook the fountain. Have my morning coffee. Grab some Starbies and just chill. Ooh. Coal. That's cool. So if I take this out... This gives me more of a terraced backyard. Should I put a deck in? I feel like I should put a deck in. That'd be kind of cool. I would come straight out of there. So that means I kind of got to take a little bit of this hillside out. Because I don't really have... I don't really have a reason to leave this here. Is that a good excuse? So we'll kind of try to leave this. Because that's cool. It's like a little pond. So we'll have to take this row out. Just so it's a little more believable. Take that one out. We'll just take all these random dirt blocks out. We're getting super close to the iron golem and it's just making me really uncomfortable. <laughs> so this level can come out too. That's all gravel, that definitely needs to come out. Trying to make this place nice. Cool, so. That's nice and flat. We can see our little water area here. Now the only problem is that I have, this is my house right here. So how do I want to do this? I'm going to build like a deck or something off the back of here. It would have to come out. Where would it come out from? It's going to ruin my view. It's going to ruin my window. Hmm. Maybe I do it to where you have to come off the side yard or something. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's the play. Do like a little side yard thing. That way, when you come over here, it's just a little, like a little patio. be kind of cool so we've gone through two stacks of dirt already and we haven't really changed the look of this place very much honestly so that's kind of a big big scary drop let's trim this back a little bit this kind of just drops off too Oh, that's my house. So let's go down there. And then I think I dropped a block. Oh, there's a bunch. Oh, there's a torch right there. That's why it's open. <laughs> like, why is there a random hole right there? That makes sense. That like, makes way more sense. So we're running out of daylight right now. We're gonna have to go to sleep really quick, but I do kind of want like a little deck, but I don't think it should be out of dirt. I feel like it should be out of like wood or something. So 
Luckily we have a bunch of logs in our inventory. Alright, where's my blue bed? Sleep next to the saw. <laughs> So, we want to put in a pathway. Let's actually move that back a little bit. Give myself more of a pathway right here. I think that would look pretty rad. So, I'm not working with much. We're going to have to take that out. We're going to do something that's going to be like right here. So it connects in. And I think we have the room to move it back just one block. That's cool. That connects that. So this needs to go back a little bit. We just move that back like that. That now fits the pathway. Sweet, can't even tell. Like I never even moved it. And then this random stone path that I had put in, we could probably take that out. I know it's kind of unique to our path, but it just doesn't fit the aesthetic. Looks like the water worked. Um, now let's put in our pathway. So this is our center point right here, so we just go straight out. Bada bing, bada boom. That looks so good. Mm -hmm. I feel like we should probably take that out because that looks weird sticking out like that. So we have a little bit of an overhang. It's kind of a modern looking overhang. How it just has the one side then comes over. Looks pretty cool. Looks better now that the grass is growing in. Especially like all right here. Now let's try to build a cool looking deck. That's my goal right now. So we're probably gonna have to get rid of all this dirt. Cause that doesn't look right. <clears throat> Okay, so that's all gone good. So the goal is to come over here. I kind of want it at this height, so it's like same height as here. So maybe I can put in a door right here. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'll put it in over there. But I want it to be at this level. That way I can walk up here with steps and then walk out and see the view. That is Z-Goal. We're going to need a bunch of these, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so we got a little over a stack. Then if we had some fence posts, that would come in handy. Mm, where's my wood chest? Right here. We got 20 of those. That works out. We got some steps. 
Nice. All right. So go close this door. Should put a pressure plate right there. Much better. That solves so many problems. Cool, now we go on the side of the house, blah blah blah, this is where the deck's gonna be. How do we want it to look? I feel like there should be maybe some steps here. And that comes along right here. So along the side of the house, boom. And then we have a deck that comes out the width of the house. Something like that. Oh no, that iron golem's stuck now too. Why do they keep getting stuck in the water? Kind of weird. So these ones got to be a little bit wider right there. Maybe three wide. And then... Should we do like a cool... Shape? Or should we just come straight out? That's the center of my house right here. So if I just do something like this... Not what I wanted. Sometimes my mouse just randomly double clicks. So weird. Definitely probably did it too close to each other. So that comes all the way out to the house, the front. Son of a again, I did it again. So make it a little wider. Trees, unfortunately, right in the way. But you know what that means? Getting a haircut. Yeah. And getting chopped down. Yeah. Darn double clicking mouse. Oh, it looks like the iron golem got out of the water. Which is cool, because we're going right in it. Give me all this loot. All this tree loot. Just being a loot goblin. Don't mind me. Oh, I missed some. Oh. Oh, I gotta go this way. And then look down. That's a tricky little spot, huh? So... Let's take a look and see... I kinda wanna do... Like... Something like this... No, not like that. I don't know what this thing's trying to make me do, but it's not that. Then if I come up like that, what are the odds that I can click the top of this? There we go. It worked. So, boom, 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 boom. So I kind of want to make like a frame. That way it's holding up the the deck, so to speak. Oh, I can't reach that one. So, something like that. Oh no, I dropped it. to go way farther up. I at least have to get to this level. That's 
pretty tall. Wow. That's at least the right height. Okay, that works. I'm happy with that. Satisfied. I forgot I don't have to close the door anymore. Isn't that awesome? Don't you love redstone? Was it not nighttime? I mean, I guess it is now. It was a little too early. Just a little bit. Alright, back at it. We've got our... <laughs> That's so tall. It's crazy. It just goes to show you how tall the floors are outside of the cave, or whatever you want to call it. I mean, it kind of is a cave. Let's just be real. So we've got this super long deck that looks kind of hilarious. I don't even get up there. I gotta go all the way around. What's up, Iron Golem? And it's not really centered, unfortunately. A little off, off centered, but it's okay. We'll still love it. All right, Golem, you're making me nervous, dude. Can you go walk somewhere else, please? Thank you. I don't know why my mouse is double clicking like that. <laughs> so fast. So fast. Corsair, you need to slow your mouses down. Mice, mouse, whatever you want to call it. Your Mies mouse? So we at least have something to look out over the deck. Uh, my crafting table is nowhere close to us. We'll just do that. Do one of these. We'll do a za and a za. And we'll make some fences really quick. Okay, we need to make a couple more. Twelve should get us pretty far. And then how do I want to do this? Do I just want to do a plank? Hmm. I guess that'll keep the iron golems from walking on it. They can't get through right here. I'll just leave it like that. Meant to be. If it was meant to be, I'd have more more fences. If it was meant to have more fences, it would. This is freaking cool. I love that we have a deck now. So I do want to make it a little more realistic because it does only have the two posts out there. I feel like it should probably have two right here as well. So let's go remedy that issue. Ooh, this one looks like it needs one coming straight down here. Because that does not look normal. So let's grab a couple of these. Put one on the corner like that. And then if we dig this out more... like that. We can drop a post. I guess we'll need to drop a crafting table to do something like that. Oh, I forgot to fill these in. Uh, 
Uh oh, here comes the rain. Hopefully it's not lightning. I guess we'll find out here in a second. Okay, so we got some fences to work with. So if that comes down like that, it means these can come out as well. Try to take this out as we go. So peaceful with the rain, I love it. Definitely need to take this out. This is a hard corner. And then this row as well. Kind of leave it powered up a little bit. Keep taking rows out. Doing a little bit of terraforming, nothing super crazy. Just trying to make it look a little more appealing over here. Doing the best we can. So this row needs to come out. So I guess that one is going to stay there, or at least now. That comes out, that comes out, that comes out. Okay. I mean, it's not terrible. I guess we just put a wood block there. Call it good. I mean, it, realistic. This one's in the water. We'll have that come up like that. And we have to replace this one with this one. That looks so weird. Maybe it should be one. Just like that. And those are supported there. <clears throat> I feel like I should have a support somewhere in the middle right here. How long is this thing? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine long. So, right about there. Or right here. I suppose that's the one. And then this one goes underneath it. Let's take that log out. Alright, let's just put it there. That holds that one up. That means this side... This one holds that one up. Where does this one land? Right there. Wait. Kind of the look I was going for. So at least it has some structure underneath it. Doesn't look super unrealistic. I dig that. I like it. So over here needs to definitely be some dirt. Kind of going down. And then... I don't want to... Get rid of these. These as well, because you'll see those. That I don't think is going to grow into grass because there's no grass blocks right there. So, 
That's kind of a tough, tough thing. That's okay. If we run over here, we don't have to worry about it. Oh, nice. Got a bunch of iron. Like a bunch of iron. We got some poppies. We'll probably take this down. We haven't used this at all. We don't really need to, to be fair. Oh, there's an iron golem right there. How convenient. <laughs> So funny, they're everywhere. And then I can fix these houses up. Make it look a little nicer. Bro, you are like right where you do not want to be. Fix this house. And I suppose it's bedtime now. So let's go run to the house and go to sleep. Protected by Iron Golem security. Need to remember that I don't need to shut that door. Okay, let's put some of this stuff away. So, what do we have? We have a bunch of gravel. Ugh. Do we do we have a thing for gravel? Yeah. Bunch of gravel, bunch of stone. We don't have any more room for stone. That's not a good sign. Coal. We have coal over here. And then flint can go in here because we don't really have a chest for it. Oak leaves can go right there. We can leave our book in here. Book does not need to be with us. So then we have a bunch of stone. And then some stone brick slabs. So I'm going to take an idea from purple, and I think it was purple. I'm going to plant a bunch of flowers. For all the iron golems. Plant them all around here. Sweet. So as we get more poppies, we can add some more color to this area. Put some more flowers around. So we've got our little cave entrance, I guess. I don't know. Is that, is that what you would call it? Is that even what you would call it? Okay, we've got a ton of dirt to work with. So this is all the dirt we have left. So I would like to take out at least the gravel. The gravel just doesn't look good. Put some dirt down instead. tripping out for sure. Alright, bye bye stone. Hello gravel. Let's get this gravel out of here. Just clean this place up little by little with some dirt. See how it turns out. Ah, 
That's cool. So we're slowly taking out this gigantic mound. And you know what? We'll make it faster. Torch tech. Nice. Heck yeah. That's way quicker. Iron Golem's like, why are you taking my fun spot away? I know that's where you like to hang out up there, but come on now. Ugly. This is way too quick. We're gonna have no shortage of gravel for a little while. Timing is key. Wow, look at how tall this gravel gravel is. <laughs> Kinda crazy. I'll take out the one high ones. And dig out these ones. Because I can't do that with a torch. Please don't go in the hole. Can you please walk away from there? I'm trying to work. Sweet. Okay, one last one right here. coming down quick let's get rid of all the gravel because it's ugly ugly gravel nobody likes you the only people that like you are the ones that make fireworks out of you or TNT or you can't make fireworks out of gravel with TNT <laughs> this is going rather well. I'm just going to keep taking these out. Oh, I don't have any more torches. It'd help if I had some torches in my inventory. Okay, we're making progress, so it's already come back. One, two, three, four, five blocks, that's pretty good. Let's keep stacking some dirt in here. That way hopefully it turns to grass, it looks really nice. That is the goal. Iron golems are making me nervous coming over here.
sweet. Very nice. Taking this all out. Looks good. There's iron golems everywhere on this map. There's one down here, even. He's just chilling. Scuba Steve. We really need to get a name tag and name him. He's the original Scuba Steve. Oh, did that one get out of the water? No way. Or did he just go underwater? I don't see him. He must have got out. Fair. Good for you, dude. Let's continue the poppy fiasco here. For all the fallen iron golems that we've uh, turned into hoppers. Appreciate you. Aw, oh, the cat's playing with the iron golem. I love that I can see four iron golems right here. There's one, two, three, four right there. And then if I turn around, there's another one over there somewhere. <laughs> kind of ridiculous. Oh, we have a cat! Aw, oh, bye kitty. Can you just let himself out? <laughs> uh. I love Minecraft cats. That's how it's just. Oh, there's a couple of them. There's multiples. Interesting. So I think we have enough lava for the time being. Uh, I think we should, I don't really want to build a bunch of cauldrons, but I can, I probably should. And I want to build a cool lava factory, like right here. I think that would be rad. We'll do it like, as this is the outline. A grassy path right there. Wait. No more wheat seeds. Yeah, you just watch me do that. I feel like I should take these out. Make that square it off a little bit. I don't really need a pathway going there. A pathway going this way. Boom. Because it'd be weird to have one going right here. Have like a super little patch of water. <laughs> so, all of this gravel. Ew, look at all this gravel over here. I didn't even see this. That's nasty. Be sure to take this out so it looks nice. I 
That's gonna look way better all grass. Anyways. I wish this was grass. Problem solved. I'm gonna take all this out anyway. We're getting rid of the, the gravel. The gravel just doesn't look right. Looks really good. We're gonna run out of inventory space here soon. Like, really soon. How soon is the question? Right there, soon. <laughs> I can't pick those up. Mm. can now. Silly poppy. Sweet. That looks good. Bye bye, gravel. Too much gravel to put in my inventory. Not anymore. Trying to make this look good. I love that there's just random stone blocks too, because that totally adds to the stony shore aesthetic. Let's get rid of all that. That looks better there. This one can go. So that already looks a lot different over here. Way more room. Way more room. Like I could fit a whole nother building or two right here. Separate out my villagers even. That way they each get their own like house or whatever. So let's go take a look up here, see how it looks with the sharp cliffs like that. So this one, I could take back one more. So let's just take out all that water so it's not causing us problems.
Okay, we gotta go do a dump. Ton of gravel, holy crap. That was a lot. Okay, so that's all stone. Bye bye gravel. No more ugly gravel. Just looks like a block without a texture. Be gone, gravel. That cat just like jumped off the stairs. Okay, let's go to sleep. Okay, no gravel in the ground. It's all stone now. Nice. Water everywhere. There's not too much gravel, just that. The rest of it's all stone, which is cool. And out we go. Let's put in a little fountain right here. Even though that makes no sense how that water is coming out so far. <laughs> That's so kind of like a fountain, I guess. I guess that works. Any gravel? I don't see any gravel. Did we get rid of all the gravel finally? Because that would be cool if we did. Kind of looks like we did. Yeah, that's probably pretty good. I don't see any more. Oh, we need one more step right here. I see no gravel except for the one holding back the water right there. We could do another waterfall right here, which would be cool. No, we look good. I 
Let's take out some of these though, so it looks more natural. Oh no, is that my cactus farm? Yeah. There we go. Get rid of that. Oh, those kind of have to be the stone blocks, huh? Because that's inside the cactus farm. Darn. Oh no. Please don't hit the lava. Yay. So it didn't hit the lava. That's a good thing. Um, I mean, I can have a cool waterfall, like kind of like along this little cliff, which would be kind of rad. Maybe we should do something like that. That would be kind of cool. Let's go down here. Totally shouldn't have jumped, but whatever. Let's take this dirt out. I don't even know if I can. I don't know how much dirt is right here. Okay, so that's the corner of my cactus farm. So we kind of have to leave that there. So that's the cactus farm. We're gonna be like a real, real, really abstract fountain. Let's take all these out. Definitely an interesting, interesting looking fountain. pretty cool like a little a little fountain nothing crazy and then we'll go over here add those in that comes down and then we also want one coming out of that top block like that to give it a little more texture. And then I suppose we're going to want it to come out of these ones up here. Something like that, maybe. Full, so it doesn't come out of the fountain, it stays in there. That looks really cool. I want a screenshot of that. That actually looks pretty rad. 
kind of different looking. Looks like Swiss cheese almost. And if I come over here. This one comes underground. Oh no, it doesn't. Looks like it does. Um, let's dig a hole out, right? Right there. Just so it's kind of different. I think that looks super cool. It's kind of modern too. Dig that. The only thing I'm not digging is these blocks right here. Those ones can go. That one doesn't have to be there, so it's cool. Okay. So then that gets rid of that. Let's make this look a little better. So that actually runs the right way now. Is that fixed? Because it doesn't look fixed. What do I got to do here, huh? There we go. That looks better. Now it looks like a water fountain. Added in a cool little fountain. I should probably make it out of stone stone, like stone bricks. But I just wanted to see how it would look before I did all that. I think it looks pretty good. I really do. I think that looks super cool. Probably look cooler if it was all the stone bricks, but we'll get there. This should be covered. Something like that. <clears throat> So I don't fall into it as easy. <laughs> Let's go cover that up a little bit. some water. We need to fix our cactus farm. But as you can see, the water has not survived the gravel. There we go. Back in business. We have two thirds of a chest, double chest, or a regular chest full of gravel. That is a lot. We don't have any room for stone. <laughs> stone is maxed out. 
I'm pretty sure dirt dirt is close to be maxing out. Well, that's pretty good. Well, this has been a solid stream. Three hours? Wow. That's a good stream. Let me tell you. So I think I'm going to take a quick little break. And to think, this all started with a little pumpkin farm. So we built a pumpkin farm, a fountain, iron golems. We got diamond armor. I mean, that's a lot of stuff. A lot. A lot. My mind's blowing. It's so awesome. But I can't thank you all enough for hanging out, for watching. Uh, it really means a lot. Uh, it's just fun to play and, you know, not feel like I'm playing by myself. So thank you for that. Um, until next time, I hope you all have a good one. And...